So the poster comes in this tube, which is great for shipping. It came completely undamaged. And I put some weights on the corners and the cardboard's protecting it. It's been about four days, so we should be good to go. Let's take a look. The weights were overkill, but you definitely want to lay the poster out for a few days so that it's flat. I took some measurements of the poster. I could have grabbed these online, but it's always safe to make sure. So I know that my blade is four and three eighths of an inch from this side. So the safest way to make this kind of cut is going to be to use a circular saw and a straight edge. A table saw is very dangerous. You never want to cut anything that is wider than it is long. It's really important to keep the saw tight up against the fence. Otherwise, it'll start to push out on you like it did on me. Now that piece is pretty useless. Next time, I think I'll do this on the floor. I gave the back side of the plywood a 45 degree angle along all the edges. I want to give the illusion that the piece is floating a few inches from the wall. I spray painted the edges black to assist in the illusion that it's going to be floating away from the wall. It's a flat black Krylon spray paint. I chose to use Mod Podge for this project. You could have used spray adhesive, but Mod Podge seemed like it would give it more of a seal, especially on the top coat. I chose to use a matte finish. Mod Podge can be easily purchased anywhere, and you can also make it yourself. It's just PVA with some water mixed in. It dries really fast and can be sanded, and multiple coats can be applied so you can build up a nice layer. So I've got my matte Mod Podge, I've got a three inch regular cheapo brush, and I've got a foam roller. The foam roller I'm gonna use to coat the top of the poster board, and the brush I'm gonna use to quickly get some glue on the board and the poster itself. I definitely went a little overboard on the glue here. You can see that I'm moving it from the plywood to the poster board. This stuff sets up really fast and starts to dry on you. So you want to make sure you work quickly and scrape out all of the bubbles. You want to make sure your first coat of glue dries fully before you add the top coat. I made the mistake of adding the top coat too quickly and it bubbled up in a few places. This will be easily avoidable the next time I do this. The foam roller worked great and it definitely helped the matte finish. Once it was done drying, I flipped it over and I trimmed off any of the edges that were hanging over a little bit. I plan on adding some eyelet holes in the back so that it'll mount flush to the wall. Right now I'm just using some nails and a piece of wire. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks and take care.